is Dr. Unknown, and welcome back to the second episode of the tutorial of EVE Online. Now, the first episode was a bit of a, like, you know, an anomaly, but I do want to make this series on not going through the, the agency missions or the actual tutorial of EVE Online. Like, there are countless YouTubers that could do it better than I, that can, that have covered it in, like, excruciating detail and you know if you want to you know just go through them first like um thingy but like me if you watch these videos you get through the tutorial and then you realize shit i have no idea what to do now <laughs> like like this game's so massive there's so much to do it's almost like um when you have too much twist like when you're trying to order like something to eat and then like you think you're fucked, like, you go, you decide that finally after, like, an hour, you decide, oh, shit, I love, like, an Indian, and then there's, like, 50 Indian places, and you're like, oh, I don't know, fucking know, and then there's, like, 50 different, like, that's what basically EVE Online is. <laughs> that, was, that was my early days experience of EVE Online. Um, so I thought, like, I'll give some videos on mainly wormhole stuff, because I am a wormholer, though I'm not in a wormhole right now. And mainly, um, Stuff like that. And that's kind of what I want to um, go through. Just So today's episode, I want to go through the, mo the most important thing you could ever have in a wormhole. And probably the most important thing you could have general. And uh, that is the D-scan. Like, this thing is your bread and butter. This thing is, if you don't take, if you, like, watch my whole entire series and don't take any away from this, this is the thing you need to have. Right? This... This is just, this is important. Right, so I'm going to go through the basics of D-Scan, and then I'm going to go through like how to uh, defensively D-Scan, and then how to aggressively D-Scan. And so the basics of this, so you're probably think, thinking, first you should probably start with how to access D-Scan. So how you do it is that you click on this, everything, and then you click on Direct from Scanner. You can also click Alt D, and I will um, make it pop up again. But you know, then you and then I'm going to go through the excruciating basics on how to scan. Now, if you didn't know, <laughs> if you that's the scan button. Press scan. Press V to scan, and that tells you everything around you. Um, great. At the moment, I've got mine filtered to PvP, but you can click that filter and just go through everything like. Ooh. I think I have to do a movie. Um, yeah, so you got like all this PvP and mining and whatnot, whatever takes your fancy. And that just basically tells you what's in range. Most people will have it on, most wormholders will probably have some version of PvP telling you, you know, what stations are nearby. Every information you need when you pop into a wormhole. You know, if there's someone inside it, how far away, um, like distance. Now, Something crucial. The reason this is distance there is because I'm on uh, for the for the praxis. It's because I'm on grid with it. Like he's there. Um, other people in the system won't have it. There are certain things you can warp to, and those are like the stations and like the citadels. But like things like post towers, people, and like I don't know wrecks, they won't show up. Um, and that's just. And that's just still the yeah, so they won't show up. So you have to like either probe scan them down, combat scan them, or D scan them down. And I will go through on how to what's code D scan. Now, if you're here, you either have absolutely no idea what D scan is, or you've heard your fleet commander be like, you're in your little interceptor, and you're like, how D scan this person down, and you're like, I have no idea what what he means, or you've heard that before. So. Well, that's the basics of D-Scan. And now we're going to go for aggressive and passive. So first we'll go through passive. So I walk my lovely other me to a random planet. And then I'll load up. Um, and we'll walk to another planet. So what I'm going to try and show here is how to, like, how to see incoming people coming at you. So, like, say you're in low sec, 
or you're in Nullsec, you're out of sight, you want to like rat in peace, or you're mining, and uh, or you're in high sec and you're going to be ganked. How to tell when things are warping to you and when are nearby, and this is very crucial on how to do that. So, and I need to warp to my character, so I've just closed that, so I need to actually warp to me. So, fleet warp to zero. Now, if I go onto myself, and you click V, because V's like the um, nearby. So, as you can see, I've got my Ibis nearby. Now, if I go on, say, one kilometer range, it will tell you every 1 AU range, it will tell me everything that's in 1 AU range. Now, if you're mining, see that Ibis has shown up? If you're mining, this is a very good way or, any, or doing anything, of telling when things are warping to you. If things are like in one AU range, they're either at something that's nearby or they're basically warping to you. So, this is less crucial in one house because if something's in system, um, the nine times out of 10, if you see a scanner on system, you and you're doing something like ratting or you're doing a site, you probably want to get out of there as quickly as possible. But if you're in low sec, high sec, this would be a very good way to work out if things are coming at you. So if you like see like if you're in high sec and you see like five catalysts warping to you in like one AU range, you should probably get out of there. And that's a good way to work it out. And you could just change any like size, so any range, you got five AU, um, and stuff like that. And I'll go through that more on the aggressive side of scanning, but we'll go from there. So say again I warp my trusty Ibis off to some or no location. This is my Hunter Ibis um, with my civilian miner. And I'll show you how to uh, aggressively descan. So, say you're hunting someone and you want to find out where they are. This is descan's very good at finding out within like close proximity where people are in system. If they're not cloaked, they will show up in descan. There are only two ways you don't show up on descan, and that is if you're cloaked or if you're in certain recon ships. Um, they're like tech two, East, like tech two um, cruisers that are like specialize in like not being seen. And those are the um, only cases you will not show in descan. Everyone else shows in descan. So as you can see here, I can see my practice in descan. So say you're hunting, right? You're in your interceptor or cloaky astero, and you see someone on descan. But you're trying to work out where the hell they are. So you get up your probe scanner. This is what you do. You get up your probe scanner. This green like sphere is that is your like area of which D scan um, is. So if you change it to like 180 degrees, you get 180 degree cone. I don't know, 15 degrees, you get 15 degree cone. Um, you could change the radius, like the range. And that's basically how that works. It's also important to note it's 14.3 AU. I don't know why it's so specific with that, but it is. And that's radius. So, that's what I wanted to know. So, how do you work out where people are? So, I know my practice is within 14 point... I know, I've just loaded into this system, and I see a practice I want to kill. It is within 14.3 system. Your FC is like, shit, like you need to find D-scan that thing down, and you want to look good for your FC. So, what are you going to do? So, what you're going to do is you're going to go down this slider... You're going to put it down to about 15. This was basically your pinpointer. And then what you could quickly do is if you hold the V key, you can literally do this. You can quickly cycle through all the moons. Right, and work out where people are. There we go. Praxis is at that planet. If you hold V, you can also drag it along. And it will highlight if you're um, scanning over it. So, there we go. Practice there. What you will then do is then warp to your practice. And that's basically it. That's basically it. You can also change the range. So if you say someone's at a safe, you can um, change the range. So you can be like, oh, there, he's here. Um, it doesn't help that I'm moving. Right. Oh, great. See, found him. Simple as that. It won't tell you how many kilometers it off from the point, though. So that's an interesting point. So if you're hunting someone and you don't know they'd be at like zero or a hundred or wherever they are, um, that won't tell you. Only tell you like what grid they're on. 
The only way to actually tell you where they are is using combat scanners. And you can use D-Scan to help you with combat scanners as well. Okay, so let's pretend, because I'm not making that like, safe. Actually, you know what we could do? Is we we'll put the practice on the safe. Right, I have a safe in here. Don't you worry. Oh, another thing. Little learn. Press L. It tells you all the um, save locations in the system. It tells you going through all the probes kind of stuff. For those that want to know that. Alright, so the practice is going to go off to save. And then what we're going to do is use D-Scan to work out roughly where they are. Now, this is important because you can actually use D-Scan then to use like combat scanners. And it makes you be able to pinpoint things very quickly using combat scanners. So if you're like in low sec and you're trying to combat scan something down, never just launch probes. Always de-scan them a rough X area that they're in. And then you can what you could do then is use de-scan to work out. Alright. Somewhere in here there's practice. Now this is probably the most trickiest thing to do with de-scan. Other than that, it's nearly not that hard. So what you do is you work out roughly what distance they are. So he's in between 14.3 and 10. So then maybe we put this to 11. 12. There's probably people in comments that are going to be like, you're doing it too slow. Whatever. Right. 14.2. 12. 12.1. 12. 11.9. Alright, so he's between 12 and 11.9. Alright, so what we're going to do then is work out where he is. So he's not in that cone. So you can go there. He's down there. He's within that cone. You go smaller, he's in that cone. He's in 13 cone. Oh, it's not in that cone. So he's somewhere like within that cone. Hold B. Oh, he's there. So he's somewhere in that cone. Bet I can't find him now, will I? There we go, he's right there. He's literally, I don't know if you can see it, he's literally right there. Now, you won't be able to use like warp to it, but it, it does mean that you've got a very precise location to launch probes to combat scanners, literally in one scan, lock them down, pull them away, and then warp to the person. Um, and that's how you find, that's how you can locate people and say, and you could do this with everyone, like you can, um, if they're even they're not out of safe, you can literally do it so they're somewhere else. I mean, I tend, I've also done it where that um, they're sitting at a wormhole, but I don't know which signature they're in. So what I've done, or like a data relic site, and I've used that to scan precisely where they're at. And I think that is it. Like, as I said, like, D scans up not that hard. Once you, like, get it down, um, you can, like, do it. There, there are other ways to do it. So you can literally, on this window, you can do it like that. Oh, there's a heron in there, probably looking for a site. So you can literally do it like that. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have learned something today. Um, this is quite um, bread and butter, I want to say. Everyone should know how to do this, but they don't teach you it in uh, like Eve, which I just think is wrong. I think Indian games should come cover. I mean, I suppose it would be really difficult to work it out. Like doing thingy, but you can thingy. But like the directional scanner is seriously your your best friend. Like you should be constantly pressing V, especially if you're in a wormhole. Like honestly, you should be mashing that button if you can. Like constantly, so your finger like hurts. Um, I will be doing more wormholey stuff in the next future. Like how to roll holes will be my next episode. Um, I will be doing how to roll like. Rebuild hole. I'll be going through the different size of holes, um, how to roll them, and then I'll be going through like which class of hole um, holes have it and stuff like that. We'll be going through how to do that as well. Um, there are people out there who have already done it, but I want to do a more up to date version um, on how and how it works as well. I just show people how to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope you like, subscribe, um, please. It really helps out. If you have any questions please comment if you have any criticisms again comment literally any kind of like it all helps um i haven't been able to upload as much as often but um, when i do it always helps 
So I hope to see you guys again soon and have a good day.